Well, we here at Local 15, we're always interested in making sure all of our families, and that of course means you, that you're saving cash. Okay, so today, Local 15 web content specialist, Taryn Reed, she's here to help. I'm calling you Mama Claus right now. <laughs> Because you're giving gifts. You're mm -hmm. browsing some of the uh, web for some fantastic savings just in time for the holidays, Taryn. I am. Thank you, Kelly. I've been looking online and found a few websites that'll save your household at least 3 to 5 percent on your grocery and retail shopping annually. So here's how it works. I'm sure you're very interested and want to know. Several sites like Cardpool, CardCash, and Raise are in the business of gift card exchanges. People sometimes receive gift cards to places they don't visit. It could be Subway, Walmart, Belk, any, any store pretty much. They send their cards to the sites and get the cash back from that card at a percentage. You don't get the full amount, it's a percentage. So you can either take the cash value of that card or turn around and buy another gift card from the site. And the good news, they're at a discount, some, of, some up to 35% off of the original price. You can find gift cards of, um, of almost all retailers. Here's some of the sites uh, that I've visited recently and saw. Let's take a look at the Apple TV. Now, as you can see, we're at Card Pool right now. Some great savings at Pier 1, PetSmart, even restaurants like Olive Garden. There's all sorts of places on there. But for retail shops like Walmart, whose gift cards are in steady demand, their savings are around 3%. That said, you're still making a tidy savings. Now, there, now like any deal, there are a few downsides. Most sites have a purchase guarantee that's about one to three months. So that means if the card doesn't work, you'll get a refund, but you do have to spend it fast. Also keep in mind that the annual savings you're going to have to keep, you're gonna have to keep at it because gift cards, you have to buy them on a regular basis. Last thing, Kelly, most gift cards you use to purchase gift cards have a 1% cash back credit cards, excuse me. So combined, if you keep that up, this type of spending, you're getting at least 4%, if not better. So it might, it might sound like a small savings, but remember, today's national average bank interest rate for savings accounts is only 0.2%. So I posted all of this information on our website, local15tv.com, all of those websites, all of the savings, everything that I just mentioned in that very long, <laughs> that long thing is, is online. But that's okay, and I'm so happy you did this so early so mm -hmm. we can plan accordingly, because as a parent, I mean, you already have to stock away so much money to begin with it, to support these children and their needs and wants. Um, but thank you. The, the yes. list helps in the fine print. You always break it down. Well, and believe it or not, I didn't know until this week that you could actually go to websites and trade these out. So now I know if I get a gift card that I'm not really that interested in. Right, right. You, like, you know. Yeah, you just don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Exactly. So, so now you don't even have to tell them. You know, to say thank you. <laughs>